under Section 35 of Republic Act 6975, the Police Security and Protection Group was established in 1991 and became the mandated unit of the PNP to provide protection to elected and appointed national government officials, members of the diplomatic corps, and visiting foreign dignitaries, delegates, and participants during special events. Private individuals authorized to be given protection and vital government installations. Initially named as Police Security Command by virtue of General Orders No. 58, its name has changed twice into Police Security and Protection Office or PSPO and finally to PSPG by virtue of NAPOLCOM Memorandum Circular 2008-256. In September 16, 2006, the PSPG expanded its role in providing protective security from personalities to vital installation security by virtue of DPL order that activated the Vital Installation Protection Unit. Under the transformation agenda, known as the PNP Patrol Plan 2030, the PSPG underwent another evolution as it envisions itself to become a highly capable, effective, and credible national support unit providing professional protective security services by 2020. With the PNP Patrol Plan 2030 as the guiding framework that provides the desired outcomes from each of the perspectives of resource management, learning and growth, process excellence and community perspectives as essential factors that will lead to the attainment of PNP strategic vision. The PSPG has developed results-driven programs, projects, and activities to better serve its clients, contributory to the PNP's organizational outcomes. Resource Management Perspective NAPOLCOM Memorandum Circular 2016-624 paved the way to the restructuring of units to divisions, namely PPD, DPD, PED, VIPD, MSD, and to enhance human resource development, the creation of GTED. To address the protective security requirements at the regional level under the leadership of Police Brigadier General Fillmore B. Escobal, 17 regional police and protection units have been activated and became fully functional by attaining three essential requirements. First, manpower. Second, logistical capability to move, shoot, and communicate. And third, a functional office. Each RPSPU are authorized to have 70 personnel equipped with four vehicles, two motorcycles, 10 long firearms, 20 bulletproof vests, and 10 radios. To respond to these ideals, a total of 25 vehicles, 20 motorcycles, 159 long firearms, 330 bulletproof vests, and 107 radios have been distributed to the different RPSPUs. To date, all 17 RPSPUs have functional offices that our clients can transact their applications and requests for protective security and where PSPs are to be deployed from. PSPG is coordinated with its major stakeholders and other supporters to secure lands and construction of RPSPU buildings for its offices. As a highlight, 14 out of 17 RPSPUs have lot allocated that is covered with Shelter Board Committee resolutions of every police regional offices, four of which have already undergone groundbreaking. Learning and Growth Perspective Based on the Master Training Action Plan, the PSPG offers VIP Security Protection Course, Installation Security Course, AORA Course, EORA Course, Field Training Officers Course, Defensive Tactics Training, Handgun Marksmanship Training, and other related seminars. In 2018, the group attained 89% VIP SPC trained PSPG personnel. In terms of course recognition, the Directorate of Human Resource and Doctrine Development of DHRDD have conferred two courses and one seminar for the PSPG, namely VIP Security and Protection Course, 
the Installation Security Course, and the BIP Security and Protection Refresher Seminar. This gave sole authority to conduct these courses by the PSPG. Beside the protective security course skills, the PSPG believes that human resource development must look at three aspects, physical, mental, and spiritual. 2018 marked the year of innovative trainings. To support physical trainings, the PSPG conducted its sports program where different units compete in different events. To advance mental growth, the PSPG conducted the first foreign language courses in collaboration with TESDA. The PSPG produced 166 PNP personnel that can speak Spanish, Japanese, Arabic, and Mandarin languages. To support their spirit, the PSPG conducted the first squadding program that ensures individual and unit camaraderie and spiritual growth. Lastly, to lay the foundation for institutional memory, the PSPG established the PSPG Data Center to serve as the central hub for digital communication. Looking at the growth perspective, Personnel are the most important resource and are the internal community of the PSPG as a testament to this principle and in line with the moral and welfare of our personnel. The PSPG was able to recognize the efforts of our personnel by awarding a total of 13,969 medals and was able to promote 369 personnel through our regular and attrition program. Process Excellence Perspective In 2018, the PSPG provided protective security to six major and 29 special events. Most significant is the deployment for the President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, and the 51st ADB Board of Governors Annual Meeting attended by 71 VVIPs, ADB Governors. In the regular deployments, the PSPG managed to provide protection for 137 government officials, 38 diplomats, and 136 private individuals. In total, the PSPG deployed 9,456 personnel and spent 2,849,959 man-hours for calendar year 2018. To enhance security measures and to support the internal cleansing of the PNP, the PSPG conducts continuous security survey, threat assessments, and personnel background investigations. Community Perspective in 2018, the PSPG Advisory Council, working in partnership with the PSPG TWG for PSPG PGS and PSMU, was able to contribute more than 1 million pesos. Most notable is the scholarship program for PSPG personnel and to rally financial support from PSSLAI and PSMBFI in the conduct of the results-based course by the Asian Institute of Management. To showcase the PSPG credibility and trust from our external stakeholders, the PSPG was able to garner various awards and recognitions, most notable of which was the award of being the best unit for logistics by the PNP Command and the Philippine Anti-Corruption Commission recognition of PSPG in support of its mandate in the attainment of one of the core trusts of our president to eliminate corruption in the government. The COMELEC commended the PSPG for helping the Filipino electorate can safely exercise their right to suffrage, which led to a safe, peaceful, and successful conduct of May 14, 2018 Barangay and Sangunian Kabataan elections. The Embassy of State of Israel appreciated the outstanding commitment and lasting cooperation with the Security Department of the Embassy of Israel. The Presidential Task Force for Media Security lauded the detail of PSPG personnel for the security of journalists who have received threats or physical violence. So, what's next for the PSPG in 2020 and beyond? In Resource Management Perspective It is PSPG's dream that all of the building constructions shall start by 2020, recruit more personnel into its roster as well as enhance its capabilities through the provision of a complete convoy package per RPSPUs composed of two motorcycles, 
two security cars, and a VIP car that shall transport our protectees from ports of entry and exit towards their places of engagement. To enhance financial support to their personnel, the PSPG shall continue to develop the newly registered PSPG Cooperative to be able to contract business and increase financial growth. In the learning and growth perspective, the PSPG plans to pursue in establishing the first training facility for protective security in the PNP. The PSPG had already resource support for the conduct of two more results-based management courses with AIM elevate the standards of their services. In the process excellence perspective, the PSPG plans to establish the first group command center that shall supervise major and minor events as well as monitor regular deployments in the field. In community perspective, the PSPG shall maintain its relationship with its current diplomatic partners such as the US, EU, Israel, Russia, Asian, and Arab countries, to name a few. But the PSPG also plans to forge new relationship with other foreign law enforcement and security agencies, such as the People Armed Police of China, to attain similar goals and mutual benefits. In conclusion, as PSPG journeyed through new horizons in the field of security and protection when the Duterte administration veered toward a new foreign policy of a friend to all and enemies to none, PSPG well adapted and responded accordingly to the changing demands and ably provided its expertise in protective security operations to increasing visits of foreign dignitaries major events of national and international significance and provided active support to PSG during local engagements, during state visits of the president in various countries and state visits of foreign heads of state, thereby earning the admiration of its VIP clients and local and foreign counterparts in the field of security and protective services. Since PSPG's creation in 1991, it has journeyed across challenging times in the specialized field of police security and protection. PSPG has drawn strength and learned valuable lessons from its glorious past, has adapted strongly to present demands, and emerged better prepared to face new challenges in the future.